I just completed three years of my physics journey and here are the five most difficult classes that I took as a physics major. So on number five we have Statistical Mechanics Statistical Mechanics is the study of probability theory and then relating it to thermodynamics. We studied stuff like probability theory and relating it to entropy. It was actually a very difficult thing to do because entropy is, you can say, a measure of disorder and then relating it to probability theory and then relating it to thermodynamics was actually a very difficult task. Okay, on number four, we have electrodynamics. So electrodynamics is just electricity and magnetism, but electrodynamics one was actually Gauss's law, Ampere's law and all this stuff that we were familiar with. They were defined in more uh, intricate manner using differential equations and using calculus three. Uh, vector calculus. Electrodynamics 2 was actually more difficult because we were studying Maxwell's equations. We were using the language of vector calculus to understand Maxwell's equations. It's, it was mathematically difficult for me. The physics part of it was actually not that, you know, complicated. But the math part of it, understanding the concept of divergence and relating it to, uh, you know, these electric and magnetic fields, understanding the concept of curl, Understanding it for the, for the very first time, it is very difficult. It is obviously difficult to understand this stuff for the very first time. Okay, on number three, we have classical mechanics. Now, classical mechanics starts with some Newtonian mechanics, you know, force is the gradient of potential energy and stuff. It was not that very difficult. When we started discussing calculus of variations, Euler's equation, Euler-Lagrange equation, you might know from my uh equation showdown video that we really love euler lagrange equation and euler lagrange equation is actually a very beautiful equation it is an equation which says that everything that happens in nature happens such that it minimizes the action this is the principle of least action it is actually principle of Hamil it is actually hamilton's principle and there are two mathematical equivalent statements that we can say are Euler-Lagrange equations and Hamilton's equations. Imagine that you have a sphere and on top of it, there is a block which is walking on it, you know, sliding on it. And they want you to make differential equation of it. Obviously, it gets overcomplicated. But it was very fun class for those people who really enjoy mathematics. On number two, obviously, quantum mechanics two. Now, the first part of quantum mechanics, quantum mechanics one, was okay, it was surprising. stern girlack experiment we did, it was very interesting. But the second quantum mechanics course was exceptionally difficult. Why? Because we are studying stuff like perturbation theory. So, in quantum mechanics one, we had something that we called Schrodinger equation. It is like the fundamental equation of quantum mechanics. And the very pursuit of quantum mechanics one was actually to solve Schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom. And in quantum mechanics two, we were doing Schrodinger equation again, but this time we have hydrogen atom and it is in magnetic field. And do you know what magnetic field does to hydrogen atom? Hydrogen atom has some energy levels around it, right? Electron orbits and stuff. So there are energy levels around hydrogen atom. When we give some perturbation, some disturbance or some, let's say, uh, outer magnetic field to it, the energy levels actually split up. Now we have multiple energy levels. They are splitting now. So it was something very new to us. And it was very difficult to imagine as well. Mathematically imagine, it was very difficult. Okay, so number one, the most difficult class, in my opinion, is group theory. Group theory is a very difficult subject. Group theory is so abstract. It wants you to give up all your intuitions and all the pictures that you make in your mind. It is the most difficult task for a physicist because physicists tend to make pictures. They tend to make, you know, analogies and these movies in their mind. They cannot let go of this intuition, this picture. And group theory wanted us to, you know, transcend this picture of intuition and just understand pure logic of groups and symmetries and puzzles. So everywhere in nature, we have symmetries. We have some order. We have some, you know, invariance 
the pursuit of group theory is to be able to recognize these patterns, these invariants or these uh, symmetries and then exploit them mathematically. It was very difficult for me. I don't think I have understood group theory. I am studying it again during this summer. So we will discuss group theory actually with Ehsan Jabbar because he's very good with group theory, groups and stuff. He actually even uh, mentioned groups and Lie groups in one of our previous videos. So we will discuss group theory someday with him. So these are the five classes that I think were the most difficult classes as a physics major. Tell me about your difficult physics classes and I'll see you in the comments. Allah Hafiz.